Aranjuez, a small picturesque city near the Spanish capital Madrid, was the first cultural landscape to be declared a World Heritage Site by the UNESCO. Since the 15th century, Aranjuez served the Spanish royal family as their preferred place to relax. Around 1535, the monarchs brought the most prominent architects, sculptors, painters, gardeners and other artists to design the rest of the city and their work still lives on today. The Royal Palace, surrounded by the proud gardens next to the Tajo River, gives form to the structure of this royal spot. In 1561, Felipe II started work on the reconstruction of the Royal Palace with the same architect who designed the monastery of El Escorial. But not until 1717 would the Royal Palace take the form and distribution that it maintains today. The sober exterior contrasts with the rich and exuberant interior. Majestic salons and wings keep important collections of paintings, tapestries, porcelain, furniture, watches and other creations of the most significant European artists. The gardens and tree-lined streets were designed to enjoy direct contact with nature. The Prince's Garden from the 18th century was conceived as a botanical garden. Here you'll find the Real Casa del Labrador, or Royal Peasant's House. The setting for many family festivities, it was finished in the 19th century. Its grand architecture is enriched by the large collection of decorative arts. Abundant vegetation and an exceptional design developed over four centuries make the Prince's Garden unique. The Faluas Museum contains all the different types of boats and other watercraft the monarchs and their court used to travel the Tajo. The wide streets, numerous buildings of historic interest and the entire old town has been declared an area of historical and artistic interest. <laughs> 